So today is the first lesson that you guys are working through, and I wanted to walk through that a little bit, give you some sense of what the different components are and how everything works together, and also what you're expected to do. So first of all, one thing I want to make very clear is that the lesson text, the lessons are a mixture of video content, text, there's some interactive examples that are new, and then a homework problem for you to complete. The text is not going to contain all the information that you need to know about that day's lesson. There will be things that will be said in the videos, they'll be on quizzes or in the walkthroughs. So don't go to the lesson and expect that you can just read the text. That would be like getting somebody's slides for a class and thinking that you could just read the text and know everything. You have to actually be there or watch it to hear the audio, to hear what's said. Um, so, you know, again, I just want to caution you, we are not expecting the text of each lesson to stand on. So you are expected to watch the videos. Um, if that becomes a problem, then we'll put, you know, some, some systems in place to try to encourage you to do that. Um, but for now, we're going to try it this way and just see how things go. But you're expected to kind of work from top to bottom, watch the videos, watch the walkthroughs, um, play with the code snippets, interact with everything that's, that's on the page. Okay, so uh, let me kind of go through, you know, how th this lesson is structured. So you'll see that along the way, we have some videos for you to watch. Uh, we do expect you to watch those. Um, you know, those will contain important, important information about the class. Sometimes you'll see um, a video that looks like, like, well, that's about my cat, but like this. So in here, in this case, you click on this, and then you'll start to see an explanation. Uh, one of the new things that we're going to try this semester, and you're going to participate in this later, is we're actually creating a community around the content of this class. So I'm going to encourage course staff and eventually you as students down the line, potentially for, next, for some extra credit, to help us out by adding explanations of various topics or concepts to these online materials. So right now down here, you'll see that you see my avatar, nobody else, but this is one example of a topic that I'm inviting other people in the class to explain. Now, we're a little behind in terms of putting this together, so they haven't had much of a chance to do that, but I suspect that as we get towards the middle of the semester, you'll see some contributions from the course staff start to appear throughout the site. So when you get to an explanation like this, it won't just be me trying to explain something to you, but you'll also have a couple of other options to watch or to go through in case I don't cut it, right? If I don't explain something in a way that works well for you, there'll be some backup. Um, so video content, that's obviously here, you can see throughout the site. Um, one of the components that I'm more excited about is this new interactive walkthrough that we put together. So here, what you'll see is this is a, one of our playgrounds. I'll talk about those in a minute. These are little bits of Java code that you can edit, interact with, run, uh, modify, experiment. They're really designed for you to play. That's why we call them playgrounds. But down here, you'll see that if you click on this, so what's going to happen is that, now I'm talking again, let me see if I can turn yeah. this, the, the volume off. Um, you do want to have the volume on because I am speaking, but I'm going through this code and as I'm doing that, you know, you'll see my edits, you'll see the results of me running the code um, displayed for you right there in the browser window. And so this is designed to kind of mimic some of the way that we would go through code in class, but it's done in a way that, you know, if you want to pause here and let's say I want to see what happens if I put in some other text, you can run the code yourself and, and experiment with it. And then when you start to play my walkthrough again, it'll kind of pick up where I left off. So this is, again, another one of the components of the lesson that you, we expect you to interact with. And then the third one really are these playgrounds. Um, we make points with code a lot, particularly, uh, well, I shouldn't say for the next few weeks, we do this all semester. We talk about code. We learn things about how it works by running it, by experimenting, by trying things. Um, and these playgrounds here, you'll see this button over here. When you click the play button, you can also do that by hitting control enter. So I'll uh, modify this a little bit uh, and show you how to do that. And hitting escape closes the, closes the output window. Um, these are here for you to play with. Um, in uh, some cases, so there's a mix of these, you'll see over here, if you see a green check mark, that means that your work in this particular playground is being saved. So if I reload this page, uh, it's going to take a minute to, to fire up again, there's a bunch of videos to, to reload, but you'll see that if I get um, down here, and it might take a minute to, where, where, where were we? Um, oh, well. Maybe there's, uh, you know what, I, I might not have given it enough time to, to save. So let's try this, let's run it. Um, 
And now I'll, I'll try to load it again. This may be a, a thing that we need to, a, a bug that I need to fix tonight. Um, but the goal is that, you know, these are, yeah, clearly it is. So the goal is that these are um, there for you and they will save your work, right? And we will make sure that that works uh, at least over the next couple of days. Um, so, you know, the components of the lesson, we've got, you know, video content, as you can see here, um, in two different formats. You know, uh, if you see some avatars here, you want to, uh, you want to, to, to click on that. Um, and then, you know, you also see uh, these interactive walkthroughs that uh, so will the go parts. through code um, in front of you, narrated by core staff members, and the playgrounds that we expect you to, to work with. So those are the components of the lesson. Um, Final reminder, the text does not say it all. So you do need to work through the various bits of content. We are going to intentionally, today's an exception because there's a little bit of extra stuff to go through, but we're going to intentionally try to keep these to about half an hour a day. Um, we expect that's the amount of time that you'll spend interacting with, with the lesson between reading, playing with the code, listening to some of the examples. Um, we do, we're not trying to overwhelm you. There's a lot that goes on with this class, um, but we do want to keep these maybe 30, 40 minutes a day to roughly equal the amount of time that you would have spent in class in the past. So um, good luck going through your first lesson.